parenting can be a hard and difficult job. It can push even the best person among us to the point of insanity. Next thing you know, you're shouting something your rational mind knows you should never say to your child. But it comes out of your mouth anyway before you can stop it. The problem is that these negative words can leave some serious psychological scars on our children. Pam Leo, a family literacy activist and the author of Connection Parenting and a future children's book called Please Read to Me, has worked with children and families for more than 40 years. She says, you can't teach children to behave better by making them feel worse. When children feel better, they behave better. Recent research suggests that emotional abuse can actually change the structure of a child's brain. Parents need to be a lot more conscious of and careful with the language they use around their children. Researchers interviewed educators and counselors and asked them this question, what are the things you should never say to your child? They listed the top 10 responses below. Parents should remove these phrases out of their vocabulary and move towards a more positive parenting method of communication. Children are often messy, loud, and they can drive you insane. But regardless of how they make you feel, there are some toxic phrases for children you should never say. Here are 10 negative things you should never say to your children. Number 1. Stop your crying right away. Would you say this to a friend who's just lost their job, or was going through a divorce? Probably not. Then, why would you say it to your child when they are having a rough time? Find positive phrases to say instead of stop crying. Children feel strong emotions just as much as adults do. They need to know it's okay to feel scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed once in a while. Crying is a release valve to help let out frustrations. Tears shouldn't be seen as a sign of weakness if you suppressed it now. Your child could have trouble expressing and processing emotions throughout their lifetime. Number 2. Eat your vegetables, they're good for your health. Dealing with a fussy eater can be ridiculously difficult. But telling your child to eat a food because it's healthy could completely backfire on you. Children don't care much about nutrition. What they hear when you say healthy is that it probably tastes gross, which could make them want to reject that food even more. Instead of focusing on health, try focusing on taste or fun. Tell them how yummy broccoli is, or how broccoli is really little baby trees they can eat like a dinosaur. In the eyes of a child, fun is more important than health any day of the week. We're thinking that healthy and good for you is probably one of those things you should never say to your child. Number 3. You're so fat, or you're gonna get fat. It is a fact that that and overweight children could benefit from losing weight. However, telling them that they're fat will just hurt their feelings, damage their self-esteem, or cause added stress and depression. Fear of being fat can lead to an unhealthy body image and eating disorders. Also, it isn't going to offer your child anything in the way of encouragement or guidance. When it comes to getting children to a healthier weight, a study published in Eating and Weight Disorders suggests the following, focus on the taste of healthy food and the benefits that come with weight loss, rather than physical appearance, to get better results. In other words, make eating right and physical activity fun. Don't place importance on attractive looks. Number 4. Stop being such a baby. Are you saying your child is supposed to behave like an adult? They're not adults. And it isn't fair to expect them to act like they are. If a child is engaging in a behavior that seems babyish to you, pay attention to trying to determine the root cause. Children sometimes regress to younger behaviors when they're frightened or anxious. Instead of embarrassing them, which accomplishes nothing, try figuring out what's really bothering them. You can then address the root cause of the babyish behavior, directly, and without guilt or shame. Number 5. I'm so fat, or I look gross. When your children hear you make these types of negative comments about yourself, it affects them, too. Your children look at you and see beauty and strength. To them, you are the most amazing person in the world, and they want to be just like you. If they hear you criticizing your body, they might model that behavior and become overly concerned with weight and appearance, particularly if they're girls. 
derogatory comments about your weight are one of the things you should never say to your child. Model self-love instead, and help boost your children's self-esteem. Number 6. You did a great job on that project but it is very unwise whenever you give your child praise and immediately follow it up with a but and mention something they didn't do very well. Here's another one of those things you should never say to your child. Your compliments get totally lost because all your child remembers is the second negative part. When you want to give positive reinforcement for a job well done, let the compliment stand alone with no buts. This way your kid will actually remember the praise. Constructive feedback can be given later on its own without causing negative reaction. Number 7. You need to calm down. This one usually happens during an emotional outburst or temper tantrum, and it's about as bad as throwing gas on a fire. If your child could calm down, they wouldn't be throwing a fit in the first place. At this point it's too late for that. Telling them to calm down will only invalidate the very real emotions they're feeling. If anyone needs to remain calm, it's probably you. Be patient until the storm passes, then talk through the emotions that led to the outburst in the first place. Number 8. Big girls or big boys don't get scared. We are pretty sure they do. In fact, adults get scared all the time, so why not the children? Saying this to your children invalidates their feelings and makes it seem like you're dismissing their fears, or not really listening to what they have to say. Children don't need to have their feelings agreed with. They need to have them acknowledged, says Adele Faber, who writes books about parenting and families and is an expert on communication between adults and children. Instead, ask what frightens them and talk through it. Let them know that fear is a totally normal emotion. Boys or girls don't get scared is another one of those things you should never say to your child. Number 9. Why can't you be more like your sister or brother? This is a good way to start an inferiority complex, or potentially throw your family out of balance. It can also alienate your child from siblings, or cause a sibling rivalry. Every child is special. Each one will have their own set of strengths and weaknesses, success and failure and victory and defeat. Expect and celebrate everyone's unique differences. Don't play favorites with any child. Number 10. You better do what I say or else. Vague threats and unspoken punishment aren't a good way to get the child to comply with what you want them to accomplish. Children need to understand the why behind the request. So take time to explain to your child the reason why you want them to do something. They'll be a lot more willing to comply if they understand the reasons. Look for some positive things to say to your child instead. As parents, now that you know the things you should never say to your child, you might want some guidance on the things that you should say. Share these 10 negative things you should never say to your children by clicking the share button below.